Welcome back to the course. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to generate and handle random numbers in MATLAB. Pretty much material to cover, so let's get started. The function that can be used to generate random numbers is the RAND function. So whatever value you pass to this function, such as the value of 5 in this case, it will create a 5 cross 5 matrix. And if you exactly specify the size such as 5 comma 1, then it will create a matrix of 5 rows and 1 column and its entries or values in the matrix, it will be completely random. The other way to do to generate random values is to use the rand and function. The difference is that this function is going to consider a normal distribution for generating the random values. So the essential difference between the rand and rand and function is that the rand function is considering a uniform distribution while the rand and function is considering the normal distribution for generating random values. So you may notice that we have now uh, some negative values as well within uh, when we call and generate numbers with rand and function. Another very interesting function is the rand perm function. So whatever argument you pass to it, so for instance, if I pass to it a value of 9, then it is going to generate 9 numbers starting from 1 to 9. And it is going to produce random permutations of those values. If I run it again, then it will give me another random permutation of the numbers from 1 to 9. If we are interested in having a random permutation consisting of only 3 numbers from 1 to 9, then we can specify it by mentioning an additional argument of 3. So if you run it again, each time it will give us a different permutation of the numbers from 1 to 9. Now, sometimes I may want to change the range of values for which I am interested in computing its corresponding permutation. So how to change the range, for instance, how to change it from 3 to 7 instead of 1 to 9? We can add some logic to it, like I am adding 2 to every value. Since the lower value is 1, this will mean that now the lower value will be 3, because we are adding 2 to it. And since I am interested in in the range of numbers from 3 to 7 so I will mention 5 here because we have added a 2 to every value and 5 plus 2 becomes 7 now this will generate 3 values between 3 to 7 if I run it again it will give me 3 numbers that is in the same range of 3 to 7 this means that we can always add some logic to the basic function to get different range of values and their corresponding permutations. Another very interesting function for generating the random numbers is the rand i function. So if you mention 5 here, then it is going to generate numbers from 1 to 5 randomly. If we run it again, it will give us another value between 1 and 5. So it is a bit different from the rand perm function and that is that in its simplest form it is going to generate one value rather than multiple values depending on the range you specify to it. If we specify an additional argument with this function such as 3 then it will mean that generate a 3 cross 3 matrix containing random values between 1 and 5. We may note that it has generated 3 cross 3 matrix with values from 1 to 5. If you want the specific size of the matrix, for instance, we want 3 cross 2, you can specify that also with one more additional argument. Now in this case, it has generated a 3 cross 2 matrix with random values between 1 and 5. You can always change the values and you can always store the result into some meaningful variable. For instance, I want to have values between 2 and 5, so we can add a 1 to it and reduce the value here by 1. So now we have values between 2 and 5. If we run again, we will get another matrix containing the values in the very same range. These are some of the different ways how you can generate random numbers. 
we have covered the rent function, the rent n function, rent perm, and rent i functions. Hope you are enjoying the course. See you again with more math related functions and until then enjoy MATLAB.